Hey viewers, welcome to my channel. My name is Arif Kadem. Many users of Excel often take too long to complete a task, assignment or report because of just not knowing all the shortcuts to apply. Many of us just think that mouse is used to point or select something or to click on something. That's all. In reality, this mouse can save you a lot of time if you know how to use it efficiently and properly. In fact, this mouse does 80% of my job at work or home when using different functions rather than just uh, waste my time on looking up different options on the menu comments. I hope you enjoy learning all these tricks. Thank you. Dear learners, let's say we are going to prepare a report, but our intention mainly is to learn some shortcut functions using mouse. We can call the report in this sheet an expense report. So you're going to put a lot of information. I have already created a couple of columns. The first one being item column. The second one is month. Now under item, we can see a number of items and each of the items will be having a lot of amounts. So we might uh, consider uh, putting like after January, the next month, February, March like this. There is a trick. The first trick is not to actually type up to December. In this cell, at the bottom right hand corner, there is a little square. And as you put your cursor using your mouse on this uh, square, you will see a plus sign. I want you to left click on your mouse and grab it tightly. Don't release it. Keep dragging while keeping it pressed or clicked. Keep dragging right across. And as you do, you can see that all the months, because you type January in capital, the rest will be in capital as well. So the font you use, the type you use, the size you use, you know, the next ones will come up in the same structure. So up to November. Now you need one more. So you can drag across to make it up to December. Now let's say we start putting amount. 20,000 I put here. Now before I go to this, obviously I must tell you, that you can see the item. So where I put commission is actually reaching the next uh, column or the next cell. The repairs and maintenance is even taking four um, or three other uh, columns. Uh, they all are actually belonging to column A. So if you click here, you can see salary. That's actually within this A2. That's A2. Uh, rent is A3. That's actually sitting here. Repairs and maintenance under A7. You can see. So it, it actually belongs to this cell, or all of them belonging to the same column. Now, but they are actually reaching the other ones as well. So you need to actually uh, make sure that they belong to the same. So what you need to do is click on A here, that column, and in between A and B, where it's uh, bordered with B. As soon as you put your cursor, you should see there is um, a plus sign with uh, arrows pointing onto your right and left. So you actually left click twice, so double click. Okay, this will expand to uh, the required you know, size. So that's how you actually make sure that you actually get them within the same uh, cells or the column. Now you can see when January is uh, hiding somewhere. And also the amount, if I click here, I can see 20,000, but it's also hidden. I have to unhide this information. So we click on it. So if we double click again, the way I did before, so in between B and C, okay, you see January being visible. Likewise, once you have entered all your required numbers or amounts within all these cells or columns, uh, you can see that February, March, then August, September, they are you know hiding under each other so obviously they are not visible properly same with a lot of numbers here so if you click on the cell you can actually see the number but you can actually see them so a lot of students get confused how to actually get them so i showed you just um, um, yeah, a few seconds ago that you actually click and then you double click in between now instead of doing each of the columns individually what you should do you just highlight all the columns across. So let's say we highlight from C where we can see February or even uh, its numbers. 
then again in May, then August, and up to December, we can see them. So as, um, as we highlight and we come to the last column where um, it's in between M and N, we actually put the cursor, okay, where again the plus sign with arrow pointing uh, to the right and left. We left click onto the mouse pointer. So we actually click twice. See, all of them will be expanded. So there will be revealing. Yeah, that's how you actually do all these things. Now I will show you how to uh, insert a new column. So you may need a column uh, after item or before the month. So what you have to do, just left click with your mouse, let's say on B, and then you right click, okay? And then you see the insert, so insert, so you get this, because you may need it for you know, any reason. You might need it to create a reference numbers for each of the items here any point in time you don't need this you can actually delete it so you just again click on b and then right click and then delete it will be gone now let's say we want to name this report expense report as i said i actually saved it as expense report but within the sheet we cannot see it so what we have to do we have to insert a new row we need to insert the row above this item and the month okay so click on number one on the left here and then right click on the mouse and insert then you can actually type expense report here uh, and you can hold it you know or increase the font size as you require now finally we have to actually add all the months figures and also all the items on the right hand side at the end of each of the months we actually highlight those uh, cells or row whatever you call then we simply choose uh, auto sum which is uh, at the top right hand corner of your home screen of excel then this will actually add everything so individual you know columns like january you can see uh, you can also check it to make sure it's a good trick so let's say you highlight from 20,000 to 250 and then you can see at the bottom right hand corner of your screen the 35,550 the sum and exactly the same amount um, being matched here. Now we are going to add uh, each of the items uh, rows. So let's say this is the salary one, okay? So you click auto sum here, so it will be actually adding all of them and then click enter. Then we need to add the other ones. So there are two ways of doing it. We can either, uh, you know, put the cursor at the bottom right hand corner of the cell. If you remember, I was telling you before that there is a little uh, a square box okay and you put the cursor and it will be pointing as a plus sign and you just uh, grab your mouse pointer and drag it down okay and it will actually add everything you know individually i have just um, chosen the undo option to show you another shortcut and that's the best way actually instead of actually dragging you can also put the cursor at the bottom right hand corner as soon as you see the plus sign just uh, left click twice or double click and it will actually add everything uh, this is the best technique to follow when you actually uh, work on a large spreadsheet where you need to actually add a lot of uh, rows or columns so i encourage students to actually follow that way now one other thing i would like to show you here if you need to insert multiple columns for example let's say you need a couple of columns or more columns before january column Okay, but after item column. So what you have to do, you have to highlight, let's say January, February. So you want two columns, so you highlighted two columns here, and right click as I uh, showed before and insert. So this will give you two columns. If you at any point in time needing, you know, more rows in between items, let's say you want to get something uh, between travel and commission here. So what you should do, you should actually highlight commission and insurance okay and right click on your mouse and insert so you can see under travel but above commission uh, two rows being created if you need more rows or more columns you need to actually choose that number of rows or columns to in your report anytime you want to delete them while they are highlighted just right click on your mouse and delete they will be gone same will apply to column deletion as well if you like this video clip please do not forget to put your thumbs up comment share and subscribe this channel thank you very much